We certainly have seen a lot of violence in our community recently. We'll, you'll remember last week that suspect and the Walmart arson who ran through a Granger neighborhood with a gun before taking in his own life there. Then the deadly shootings at the Elkhart grocery store just a day later. And then this weekend in South Bend, police are still searching for suspects from an apartment shooting that injured two people on the city's northeast side. That happened just after 6.30 last night in the 1000 block of Patty Lane. And when we look at violence from last year, 2013 numbers, they're staggering statistics. 77 people shot just in South Bend last year. And today, we're learning more about the strategy the city's using to try to stop that violence. WSBT's Annie Chang was at the Anti-Violence Coalition meeting. Annie, they're calling this strategy the Violence Reduction Strategy. And Jennifer, the city has been working on this specific strategy for several months now. Here's how it works. First, police identify the people who are causing this gun violence, then call them in for a sit-down meeting with police and community leaders. At that point, those individuals are given a choice. Either put down the guns and enjoy the social services provided by the community or face much harsher consequences next time they're caught among the violence. Violence, like last night's shooting on Patty Lane that injured two people, prompted 34-year-old Lawrence Guyton to ask... What are we doing to take our community back? From, from violence. So Guyton found himself at the violence reduction strategy panel discussion, where he and other community members learned what's being done to decrease gun violence in South Bend. So we need to develop a strategy to treat that disease, the disease of gun violence. This call-in approach started last April when the anti-violence coalition was formed. And some community members spoke up at the discussion, saying too much time has gone by with no results. I'm really leery of this. Commission that what you guys are attempting to do. But South Bend Police Chief Ron Teachman, co-chair of the coalition, says the strategy takes time to implement and that there's still a lot of groundwork to be done. If given a choice between doing it fast and doing it right, we want to make sure we do this right. He says the strategy has had dramatic results in other cities like Chicago, Boston and Philadelphia, reducing gun violence without throwing more people in jail. I'm very confident this will work in South Bend. But it won't work if just the police and the prosecutor are doing the talking. The community has to talk about this as well. It's a community problem. And Guyton wants to be part of the solution. I'm a part of the South Bend community. And as long as I get involved and speak up, I'm doing my part. Now, Chief Teachman could not say when the coalition will start the process of calling in those individuals involved with gun violence. But he says he'll be going to New Orleans in the next several weeks to observe a call in there. Reporting from the live desk, I'm Annie Chang, WSBT Channel 22 News. Also part